Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Or Saturday's beer uh, it is, and video. It is Saturday. On Saturdays, I do Cellar Saturday, where I actually drink something off the shelves behind me. Uh, this one, a uh, few people recently have been like, when are you going to drink that Dark Lord? And then uh, just today, I was going through comments, and Dave, uh, again, someone being like, hey, when are you going to drink that beer? So I'm drinking that beer now. So uh, based on the wax, I looked it up. It looks like it's from 2016. Um, it's no, they just call it a Russian style imperial stout, but um, it actually has coffee, vanilla, and added sugar. Um, I want to say sugar from India, vanilla from Mexico, and I think the coffee for this one is Dark Matters Unicorn Blood. Um, but I don't think it says that stuff anywhere like on the label um so yeah easy to not know that um and i don't think it has the abv either which should be around 15 percent uh fantastic artwork love it well, let's get into it it's my last one it's always like these beers i know i like it's always tough to like take the last one off the shelf you know but um it's been aging for a while. Um, I do think this beer benefits from age. I'm not going to say it needs to age as long as I aged it for, but um, I, I think it does better with some age. I mean, very dark. Um, it's black. I actually don't even see any brown in it. Um, about quarter finger ahead, mocha, relatively compact bubbles. Let's see. Legs for sure. Some lacing sticking around. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised that there's any lacing. Uh, let's get into the aroma. It's got a nice deep um, chocolate, uh, mostly dark chocolate. There's a nice roast to it. Um, you could get it from a base beer, but I think the coffee, if it's still around at all, is probably helping that as well. Yeah, there's a nice sweetness to it. A little bit of earth, black licorice. Not barrel aged, but like a wet wood. I think there's like a, there's something kind of like softening it and making some of these things melt together. Part of that's the age, but I think the vanilla is doing some of that as well. Um, I, I, I'm finding more and more the vanilla can round harsh edges. But again, this one has the benefit of time, which also does the same thing. But it seems like that vanilla is kind of interwoven. Like going back to the chocolate, because of the roastiness, that chocolate comes across dark, uh, if not at times even like chocolate-covered espresso beans. But... You also get some like milk chocolate. And I think the vanilla and the sweetness are making me think the milk chocolate versus these more coffee, roasty chocolate notes. Um, you know, people have said this beer is kind of soy saucy. I don't smell anything that smells like soy sauce. And yeah, back to that black licorice thing. This smells fantastic. It's good to the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Dave, for the suggestion. If anyone else is like, why don't you drink this? Put in the comments. Maybe I'll do it next week. Cheers. That is fantastic. Wow. Huh. Wow. Yeah, so this is one of those moments where it's like you're conflicted, right? Because, like, I'm, I don't know if this will go on with the wax that's still on there. Um, whatever. Um, whereas, like, I'm conflicted because it is so perfect right now, you know? But then it's like, ah, it's my last one. You know? But, like, man, I, I'm, I'm glad, Dave. Thank you, man, for pushing me over the ledge to actually drink this right now big chocolate that licorice i love black licorice fyi uh is there i think enough that if like someone didn't like black licorice they might like that aspect of this beer would be off-putting to them uh but i happen to love it but to me it's not i don't know how much more i'd want but it's certainly not overly done because it's allowing other things to to shine through not as much roast on the taste as i was getting in the aroma but some of it's there um, that perception of sweetness in the aroma, definitely there in the taste. Like I said with the aroma, nothing about soy sauce in the actual drinking experience. It, it's such an interesting experience. It starts almost like if, you know, liquid chocolate syrup uh, was in beer form. And then the other stuff starts kicking in. 
not in a sour way, but there's a nice um, cherry. And then like you get like that like blueberry compote kind of thing, which is really nice. That wet wood I was smelling, like you get like the essence of that as well. The licorice. The aftertaste is, is also pretty chocolatey, a little bit of black licorice. Not a ton of vanilla, I know vanilla police, but um, I think like I was saying in the aroma, there's some of it there and it's just helping with the age to round out any potential harsh edges. ABV, don't taste it at all. Has a pretty nice mouthfeel and all that that you want. I guess I do see a little bit of brown from this angle, but it's still a very dark beer. Yeah, I really like that sweetness. Um, the smokiness, I'm getting a little bit more. Uh, it almost has whispers of peatiness, which I love that flavor. Um, so like when I think of a big Russian Imperial Stout, this has some of those notes for sure. Then they adjuncted it and got it up, you know, in terms of the ABV. So, you know, they make it their own beer for sure. But it does have some very traditional Russian Imperial Stout notes, which I appreciate. Uh, and I obviously really appreciate them doing their own thing with it as well. Uh, yeah, obviously I'm starting this relatively early in the day because this will be something I'm sipping on for a while. Uh, but yeah, Dave, thanks again, man, for being the one who pushed me over the edge to finally drink this. Uh, have you guys had this beer before? Have you had this vintage? This is uh, the 2016, unless my internet research was wrong. Um, have you had any other vintages? What do you think of it fresh versus aged? I haven't had one of these in over three years. Uh, I did it randomly. It happened to be for my 666, 666 uh, beer review. And I will try to remember to link that. Hopefully it's up on the screen right now. Uh, if you're interested in that review as well. That was a 2015. Once you're done doing that, commenting, all that stuff, please, uh, well, let's see, what do I say after this? Uh, please uh, find me on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both of those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.